everyone. Let me know that you can hear me and see the slide here. We're going to get started. And if anybody comes late, hopefully they'll just ask questions about what they missed. I am taping the lecture today in case anyone is interested. And if you go to my YouTube site, just go into YouTube and look under the stock swoosh. The recording will be available there this evening. Okay? Wonderful. Great. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming today, everyone. It is a gorgeous, beautiful day outside in New York City, so I appreciate your time here today to sit in your office or at your desk and listen to me lecture. Hopefully it will be worthwhile for you. So welcome, my name is Melissa Armo and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh LLC and today I'm going to be talking about how to trade gaps. It's actually the strategy that I personally trade in the market. If you would like more information you go to my website, it's www.thestockswoosh.com and you can also email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com if you'd like more information as well. And you go to my Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn page or Skype, you can add me to Skype. Or feel free to give me a call at 602-799-5754 if you have any questions for me after the lecture. You can feel free to reach me on that email. I trade in the mornings, but I'm usually available in the afternoon or evenings. So let's talk where to begin. Now, again, I'm going to talk about one specific strategy today. And I trade in the U.S. stock market. One profitable strategy is really all that you need to make money in the market. And I've, I've proven this. I've proven this to myself. I've proven this to people that know me. And now I am teaching this to individual traders as well. You've really got to simplify your trading life by focusing on just one thing and then doing it extremely well. And then you do it with size. And we're going to talk about that today. The U.S. stock market has an unlimited potential to pay active traders. And in order to be successful, however, it is very important for a trader to have a strategy. Now, many traders actually trade and don't have a strategy at all. So that's problem number one. If you trade the market and you don't have a strategy, you need to get one. Okay? Then the most important thing is focusing on that one and getting really, really good at it. Instead of doing like five different ones and not being good at any of them. You've got to get good at one. So why do you need one? And what strategy can you use to make a lot of money? You need to have the proper focus and knowledge, and that's really the key to consistent trading success. And you don't really need to do tons of trades either. Now, I'm talking about one strategy, but I'm also talking about the idea of just doing one trade a day or two trades a day. I trade and I'm done in the morning, early. Today my day was done in less than 30 minutes, okay? So this isn't something like where you have to trade all day to 4 o'clock. Now, have you ever thought about trading the U.S. stock market? The great thing about the U.S. stock market is that it has set hours. It's not like the Forex market is 24 hours. It opens at 9.30 and closes at 4. I trade in the morning because gaps happen very quickly in the morning. But the good thing is that you have the fixed hours of the market. And you can also be anywhere in the world and trade the U.S. stock market. You don't have to live in the United States of America to trade the U.S. market. You could live in China. You can live in Australia. There's traders in my room all over the world. So it's available and accessible to anyone that wants to trade it no matter where you live. And the fact is that the market can give you the income you desire. It absolutely can. Whatever you want, it could give you. But guess what? You have to know how to trade. And I think it's extremely important to know what that amount of money is, okay? I, I teach my class, and I, I ask people. And they fill out a questionnaire before they take my class. I say, how much money do you feel that you need to feel wealthy? I think it's very important to be in touch with that. Many, many people go into trading, go into the market, and they're all over the place with how much they think they want to make. And often they're not really in touch with it. I find that if you're very exact about it and in touch with it, you will do better. This is a snapshot of my P&L for today. I, made, I took one trade, I lost $234, and I took another trade, I made $4,500. I was up $4,300 in the day in 30 minutes, and we're going to go over the trade I did. So I don't even know what that equates to. It's, it's like more than $100 a minute that my time spent in the market today, I got paid on. So let's just say you have a $25,000 account and you can make $4,000 in a day. That's like 20% of your money in a day. Now, will you make that every day? No. 
But some people don't even make $4,500 a month, let alone in a, a, a week, and let alone in 30 minutes. And I just did that today. Okay. So the idea of making a hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars a year, half a million dollars a year, a million dollars a year or more is one hundred percent doable. Now I did take size in this trade today. I'll go over it. But even if you only took half the size in the trade I made today, you would have made over two thousand dollars in one trade in less than thirty minutes. Okay. And many people would be happy just making $500 a day. I mean, I talked to so many traders, they, they would just be happy to make $500 a day, which basically equates to, you know, $10,000 or something, $8,000, $10,000 a month, which is $100,000 a year. Now, you have to learn how to trade, though. You have to know how to do it. You will never, ever, ever make this kind of money in the amount of time that I accomplished this today unless you know what I know and can do it. But I'm put this in the webinar today to show you that it's real, that it is, is real, okay? And I work from home. I'm in my apartment right now doing the webinar, and that's where I trade. So working from home as a trader allows you freedom. You can go out. I can go to the gym when I'm done trading in the afternoon. You could go to lunch. You could go get a massage. You, you could do another job if you want to, but it allows you freedom. You can go on a bike ride, okay? Anything you want to do, you can do. If you learn how to trade, you'll have the money to do it, you'll have the time, you'll have the freedom. So what to do, what to trade and how to make it. How, how did I do what I did today, which I, which I do often, seeing the gap, which I'm going to talk about, having 100% conviction, which I'm going to talk about too, and knowing that it'll work to just hit it right out of the gate. You can make more money than you've ever dreamed possible in the U.S. stock market. If you've been thinking about trading the U.S. markets, there really is no better time to start than the present. Why? Because the market's very volatile right now. And the volatility is going to continue. It's not just like right now. And it's not even because it's earnings season, although it is earnings season right now. But the market this year, 2015, is going to be more volatile than it was in 2014 because the market is going to continue rallying. And even though it's sold off the last three days, it actually is going to continue rallying to make a new high. And so a lot of people are going to think that the market is not going to go higher and crash, but it's not. Uh, Rick ZZ is saying test. Can you not hear me, Rick? Can everyone hear me? I'm the only person that can see everyone's writing in the room. Can you hear me, Rick? Let me write this in the room. Oh, okay. Then you're good. I'm the only one that can... Actually, you can see... Me and the assistant moderator, that's it. If you lose sound connection, you can sign out and sign back in, but it should be fine. Okay. So look no further because this is something that you can do, and this is going to be a good year to do it. Better than last year because of the volatility that exists in the market right now and is going to continue because a lot of people think, as I was saying, the market's going to crash, and it's not. And this is going to bring in volatility. And the volatility is going to happen in both directions, bullish and bearish. And that means what? It means opportunity for you as a day trader or a swing trader or a core trader to make money. Because the way that I make money in stocks, the way I made the money today was momentum. I could never make that kind of money if the thing didn't move today. But it had a move. It had a dollar plus move very quickly and more. And that's how you make money as a trader, specifically as a day trader. So you've got to have that kind of volatility to get paid. If you're in a snail, it really doesn't work out. You don't get paid. So how do you make it? You've got to focus on one thing. This is pretty much what I look like every day when I roll out of bed. I put on my special glasses to go look for the gap, which is a strategy I trade, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But this is me. I'm like honed in, zeroed in, one thing, and I just go for it, okay? Now, how do you get to this point to be this focus that you can go for it? Well, you have to learn what you're supposed to look for. So what is the one piece of information that really, really counts that I'm looking for when I'm looking for stocks to trade in the U.S. market? I'm looking for something called an event. Okay. To decide what stock to trade to make money, you can begin with one simple idea. You are looking for an actual event. What is an event? An event is a reactionary change in price that is noticeable and it is definitive. A gap is an event. Okay, I'm explaining now what a gap is, I'm conceptually, okay, and I'm going to show it on a chart. 
A gap is a strategy you would use to enter or exit a trade. A gap is a reactionary event because it is something that is happening which forces people to take action, therefore creating the event. When people take action, an event occurs. This event in gaps makes stocks have huge momentum moves. Why? Because there is shock involved in the event. And I'm going to show you the one today I did. There was shock. And people are forced, therefore, to take the action of the shock. And there's another reason why events are very important, because of power. Power is easy to identify, and there is a lot of power in gaps. And what I mean is f the force of the money, okay, money. So the event is created by huge, huge money. You were looking to trade on the side of huge money. That's how you're going to make the money, the power money. Power money creates and controls events. So when an event occurs, you're looking to read the side of the power money. When you find it, you will choose that stock to trade in the direction of the event. What made the gap? Did power money buy it, sell it? What is power money doing? And then you want to trade it in that direction, whether you're buying it or shorting it, if there's, if there's selling action. Read the story of the power money. Read the story the power is telling you. How will you do this? You will do this through reading the price, okay? Power is reflected in price. I am a pure, pure technical analysis trader. I'm as pure as they get. If you gave me nothing to look at and I had to sit and trade and read the tape, I still could do as well as I did today if I had to do that. Because everything I do is based on price analysis. I do not read reports. I don't watch the internet. I don't watch television. I don't read uh, earnings reports. I don't listen to anything anyone says. I am pure, pure, pure technical analysis and making all my choices. Okay. The power is reflected in the price of what you do in a stock that is exactly how you know what it's doing. It always is. It always will be. Always. Okay. So you don't need to learn any of the other things. And you don't need a million indicators, and you don't need any black boxes, and you don't need to buy any automated systems. You need your eyes, your brain, and a live moving chart that is telling you the current price of the stock. Now, what is the real definition of a gap? A gap is a break between prices and a chart that occurs when the price of a stock makes a sharp move up or down with no trading occurring in between. Now, I'll show you what this looks like on a chart in a minute. How do you find gaps, though, using technical analysis? So technical analysis is a science of recording, usually in graphic form, which is on a chart. I'm going to show you that in a minute. The actual history of trading, which is price changes, volume of transactions. In a certain stock, we're in the averages, and then deducting from that picture history the probable trend. Okay. So again, it's technical analysis really reading the price that is being recorded in the history of the chart. Now, what is a gap? Let's look at this one. This was one from today. This is win. This is a chart of win. This is a daily chart. It's a daily chart of win, and last night, win closed up here at a certain price. What a gap is, is the closing of the day here, which was the Tuesday, last night, the stock closed up here around 1.30 something. When you got up in the morning this morning, it was not at 1.30. It was gapping down here. So here we have what is considered an event. And you can also see that this is rather shocking. Okay? So it opened here around 115 something something. Actually it was above 115. It was like 116 or 117 something where it opened. So you see here that this stock did what I'm telling you is a gap. So the strategy is you're going to find the gap, which you found the gap and win, and then you have to figure out what to do with this thing. Now you have to figure out if you want to buy this thing or sell this thing. Now you have to figure that out before you take the trade and before this happens. It's easy to see now that this was a great short. If you shorted win on the day today, you made money. It was the only way to make any money. It fell all day. But, but you have to know to do that before win even opens. But you do have time because this gap here happens in the pre-market or the post-market. So gaps happen at night and they happen in the morning, but they happen before the next day, so you have plenty of time to figure out what you're going to do with this one, if you're going to short it or you're going to buy it, okay? But you want to know so that when the market opens at 9.30 Eastern time, when the U.S. stock market opens, you will know what to do with this so that you can get it, so that you get this momentum here. Because here's where all of this is coming in quickly, all right? 
And as a day trader, or any kind of trader actually, you do need to assess what you're doing early so that you can get the proper entry with the proper risk to reward. Otherwise, you're chasing something that's a falling knife, and that's a terrible way to trade, and I just don't trade like that, okay? So gaps are a strategy to trade. Gaps provide huge momentum moves in stocks with a high risk to reward payout. We'll talk about that in a minute, too. Gaps can be traded for big profits early in the morning and also in multiple time frames. What does that mean? That means you can day trade the stocks or you could take them overnight. And so that's the multiple time frames. You can also trade them on a one minute chart, a two minute chart, a five minute chart, or a 15 minute chart we'll even look at today. Now what I mean by high risk to repay out, that means for every dollar you risk in the trade, you're looking to make anywhere from one to three. Three is your goal every day. Some days you make two, some days you make five depending on how long you stay in the position. But either way, that's a good risk to reward payout. Many, many gaps go to the targets. If you want to get the highest risk to reward payouts, you stand them to the targets, which I, which I know how to look at and figure out and I teach as well. But the real strategy is the gaps and you're looking for the momentum, again, before it happens. Rick is asking if I use options. No, but there are people that have taken my class that do. You would have to know how to do the option trade yourself if you do, you could do it, okay? I don't teach options. That is one way to use what I do. Same principle, which is the strategy though, okay? Same principle in play. So conceptually, again, you're focusing on the one thing, that's fine. It's still the gap. It's still the event. How much money would you like to make trading? This goes back to what I was saying earlier, really got to know. You really got to know. Do you want to make $10,000 a month? Do you want to make $2,000 a week? Do you want to make $1,000 a day? Do you want to make twenty dollars a month? I believe that you need to know. And then you back it out how much you want to risk to be able to make that and figure out how much you need to have in your account to do it, how much buying power and how much cash. Now, let's just say you have a goal and you say, I want to make $200,000 a year day trading, but you have a certain amount of money and you can't risk what you want to make that right now. You can still trade and be profitable and successful with the money you have now, even as small as you might have, even risking only $100 a trade. But you got to learn how to do it, and you get good. And as time goes on and you're making money from the market, you increase it. Someone asked me the other day about percentages. I can't even, I can't even say percentages. If I said percentages, the numbers would be off the chart with, the, with, with some of the trades that I've taken and percentages of the actual cash uh, money that I've made on the day with the cash that I have in my account. So it's day trading is not about percentages. It is about risk to reward. So you start with what you have and you make it work. You know, you could have a prop account with five grand into it and you could have ten, you could have that account up to 10 grand less than a month if you knew how to trade. But you also could have $5,000 in a prop account and lose it all in a month if you don't know how to trade. You could have $50,000 in, in an account, in a retail day trading account, you could lose every dime in a month if you don't know how to trade. The market is just like this wild, wild, amazing west of a place. It's like anything is possible out there, as much as you want to make or as much as you want to lose. The choice is yours. So what I find is that people go into the market and they trade and they want to win, but they're not focused enough on what they're doing. They're scatterbrained and therefore they end up losing. So you've got to understand what to focus on. And this helps you get something that I call conviction. So frame out your future with gaps as far as the money that you want to make, the strategy you want to have to focus on, and something that you're really going to get conviction in the market. Because once you have conviction in what you do, the sky's the limit. Someday I'll take a trade and that $4,500 trade will be $45,000. Could I do it in 30 minutes? Yes. The one thing that I've learned from trading the market is that anything is possible in either direction. As quickly as you could make it, you could lose it. So guess what? You need to focus on quality. And I've developed a method to do that. That gives me the conviction to risk the money to make the kind of money I made today. And as far as I'm concerned, no one should trade the market without conviction. It doesn't matter even if you're only risking a certain amount that you would consider small. Why risk one dime at all? if you don't have conviction in what you're doing or if you have no clue what you're doing. It's like going gambling. And, and trading isn't gambling. It's so far from gambling that I don't even understand actually at this point in my career why people even think that it's gambling because it makes perfect sense to me. The market as a whole makes perfect sense to me when I look at a chart. Now does every chart make sense? No. And you know what I do then? I don't trade those stocks those days. I say, oh, that's nothing. There's nothing there. 
and I move on, I find something else. You train what makes perfect sense, 100 perfect sense, and that's what you do, and that's what you look for. Now, here is today's play, okay? This is LL. This is a uh, one-minute chart. <clears throat> stock rally. The stock gap down. Night before the stock closed up here around 33-something. Again, this is a miniature time frame. We're not on the daily here now. Like I showed you earlier in the wind, this is now a small time frame. But the market opens at 9.30. Stock closed up here, gap down. Rally. Now, you might have looked to buy this. I did not because I knew that LL was a short. And I had 100% conviction it was a short. So this was a short, and you would have shorted it. And here's the move. Time of the day of the first drop was before 10 o'clock Eastern time. You could have held it longer even. You see that it dropped down in here, and it kind of started basing around 11 o'clock, right before 11 o'clock. I think this ended up being the low of the day. I don't think it broke the low in here. But the majority of the move happened here in the morning. So this is the time frame that I trade. Okay, And this is all you need to do. As a day trader, you're chunking it out. You're going in, taking it, chunk it out. Go take it, out. But if you went to buy this here, it was a disaster. And I can see the traders tr attempted to buy it here and here. That's why this looks so wiggly jiggly. But it actually was a short. It was the only right thing to do with this. And there was the only way to make money. But some traders look at something like this and they think it's going to fill the gap. And that's incorrect. So you have to know what to do with this thing. Because all of this, even though it looks nice and pretty here, is actually happening very quickly. Because this is on a one minute chart. All right. But I have everything figured out way ahead of time in the morning, way before the open. Now, here is the daily chart of the LL, just to show you. So this one here closed the night before, like around 33-something. And then here you have where it opened this morning, like around 28. And you can even see this bar here. This bar doesn't looks like a smidgen. It looks like a dot. But look how much money I made in that. Now, there will be days that you can have ones like this, and then wh what about days like this or days like this? This stock actually did not have a massive move in the day. I just played it extremely, extremely well. This is a massive move, actually. The high of this one up here, which is a gap, by the way, stock closed here, gap down. Rally first, but this was a gap. This was a gap down. You could have shorted an LL. This happened back in late February. High up here, this bar was 70. Low down here is 50. It's a $20 move. Uh, I mean, I can't even imagine the day I would have had if I had done this one with the size I did today here. Now, I've upped my size for earnings season here. But the fact is, though, that even on a day that isn't even a massive biggie, 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 you can still make really good money. Why? Knowing exactly what to look for, knowing exactly how to play it, knowing the exact entry, knowing the exact exit, knowing the exact numbers, knowing how to take it short or long. Okay. It's like I'm a sniper going in and doing it, but it's because of the focus I have on one thing. Okay. And this is what I'm teaching people to do, and this is how I'm teaching people to make money in the market. I'm actually teaching people on their own to make money in the U.S. stock market because I'm teaching them what I do. And it's not hard to learn it once you take my class because I do it every day. And if you trade with me in the live trading room, you're there every day. You're doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it. Okay? And then you just learn it. Now, here was a trade. Actually, this is the wrong time here. I didn't update this. It was, it was earlier than 9.50. But price of the entry was 28.37. Stock was over 28.75. Risk was 38 cents. This is a good stop, actually, for the LL, because the stock can be a little whippersnapper. Uh, so 38 cents is good. Some of the stops that I've taken could be 10, 15, 20 cents, though. You never know, but the price point here in this one was good for this, this type of stop. So on 4,000 shares, I risked over $1,500 today. Again, I'm an advanced trader, and here's the profit. Risk to reward was almost three. Now, if I had held it, if I would squeezed it down more, it actually continued. I could have made more than three riskiness on it, but I was up too much money to do that, and it was at a reversal time. So I followed my trading plan, and I took it. Now, you could have retaken this. 
there was another trade in this. You could have traded it twice. I did not. I had to do something. But you could have done this twice. All right? This time in the entry is wrong, though, just so you know. And here's the money I made in this today. That's real. If I want to take it out of my account today, I could. And I could go shopping tomorrow. So don't tell me that you can't make money in the market. Whenever I talk to people and they tell me, blah, 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 I've taken this class and I've lost this much money and whatever. You know what? I taught myself how to do this. I created my own system. I started trading at the end of the 2008 and people that know me now see what I'm doing and they, I'm an inspiration to people that know me because I have friends that train and I have friends that have known me for the last you know, seven years when I started at the beginning and I was losing and lost a boatload of money. I lost a lot of money in the market when I started that trading. I don't think anybody doesn't. You don't wake up, roll out of bed and start making $4,500 a day in the market. That's insane. No one does that. Okay. I don't care how brilliant you are. And by the way, I'm brilliant. So it doesn't matter how smart you are. It's not realistic. What is realistic is deciding that you really want to do this. You are committed. You believe that it's possible. You're going to do the work to learn it. You're going to persevere through whatever you need to do to get it done, which might mean starting out with a small amount of money because you may not be able to afford to have taken the trade I took today. But you're going to learn it anyways and trade with the money you have, even as small as it is, so that as time goes on, you get better, so you will get to the point that you are me. So your goal is to be me. But how do you get to that point? You've got to take what you have now to do it. You've got to take the time that you have in your life right now to devote to doing it. You've got to learn what I know from me in order to do it. And you've got to be committed to doing that. This isn't like some of these things, like everyone wants to go out. You know, it's easy to go out and go out to the casino. You can have a great time. You can gamble. You can have a good night. Maybe you go out, you play blackjack or something, you win a thousand bucks. But if you go play blackjack every weekend in Atlantic City, and I'm, I'm not a big gambler. I don't really do that, but I'm just saying a lot of people here in the city, they go to AC. You could go and do that every weekend. The chances are, though, you're not going to make $1,000 playing every Saturday night. And in the end, from January till December, they probably comp you a lot of the casinos and you end up probably down on the year. You have a good time. You could consider it entertainment. I don't consider my trading entertainment. I consider it something that I'm doing for the purpose of making money. Every single solitary day, my purpose is to get up and make money. And you know what? The faster that I can make it, the happier I am. The, the quicker that I can make it, the happier I am. In my dream, dream world, every trade would be done in less than 30 minutes. Although some I am in for 45 minutes or an hour longer, I do not like trading in the afternoon. Although I am going to go over a late trade here. So you can see you can do it later. But I prefer not to do that. But some trades do take longer to set up and go to get working. But in an ideal world, all of my trades happen very, very quickly. You've got to have guts to take a trade like I did, though, today. And many, many trades that I do. Having a mentor like me to tell you where to take it, where to put the stop, and where to get out while I'm doing it live with you definitely helps. I wish I had had someone like that making me be focused at the beginning. It was a process for me to learn, and I was not focused enough. And one of the very important things that you can learn from me is to be is the focus. You know, I look at it like you're, you're partnering up with the market that you're going to do this one thing for your own goals. And the goal needs to be the certain amount of money that you want to make, which I told you you should be in touch with what that is. Now, you know, it's funny. When I started out trading, I wanted to make millions of dollars. And at the beginning, I really was kind of unrealistic about how quickly that was going to happen for me. But now here I am. And the idea of making several million dollars a year as a day trader, actually, now I see that it's my path. Okay. So you've got to take where you're at right now, be in balance with yourself and the money that you have to go forth and make it happen. Trust me, I'm the most impatient person in the world. I know, my friends know this about me, but I'm telling you, if you can just hang in there a little bit, you'll get the conviction and confidence to do it, and it will take you less time than you think to make it happen. It, it's always that you want to make it happen right away. And I know, because I'm an impatient person too. But if you're just a little a smidgen more patient with yourself, you can make it happen. Just a smidgen. Just a tiny little smidgen. And do you know that this drop in here happened? 
I'm just going to explain this right now. Then a, this scary green bar, because I had so much size in this today, this green bar, I was up a good deal amount of money when this dropped down in here. It did not break the low. This is, this is, this is pure, pure Melissa Armo right here, professional trading at its finest. The stock dropped, didn't break the low, and I was up a lot of money in here. I could have taken it out. This green bar happened, and it could have flipped over the high, and I had to stop it, and I held through it. But this doesn't look like much, but with the size I had in this, I was, I was, I was still up. But I was gave back profit in screen bar, and I was like, crap, and I stayed with the trade. And do you know then it broke the low, and then here was all the money. So I made more than double then, but I could have killed it here, and I didn't. And that's what I'm talking about, that conviction is, because the stock dropped, and here was up, and it did break the low. And I was up several thousand dollars then. I forget what it was exactly. But, but that, and then it did this, and I, and, and I stayed with the trade, okay? So this is skill, 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 skill that you would learn from me to know that it wasn't going to bounce, wasn't going to go over the high, was still going to break the low. The right direction was a short. Yes, traders were trying to buy this. I see it happen here. I see it happen here. It was not a buy. It was a short. And the fact is that how will you ever stick with this trade to have the conviction when you're up this much money to get more money that you have to understand what you're looking at? And you understand that from the gap. It's the gap. I rated the gap. I got up in the morning. I rated the gap. And the gap rated for my system that this was a short. And that was it. And that was it. And you take it and you do it. And you don't question yourself and you don't second guess yourself. And again, this is what many, many people do. They second guess themselves. They question themselves. Am I right or wrong? Should I kill it? Should I take it? Should I buy it? Should I short it? Should I sell it? Should I quit it? Where should I put the stop? No. It's you got to know exactly what you're doing. And then you're in it and you're invested. And how do you gain that conviction by learning the process of the strategy of the full understanding of what the heck this stock was supposed to do in the day? It's what this stock was going to do in the day. And you got to see it before it does it, or you don't get the money. Okay. Now, Lee G wanted to go through the trade again. It was a short right in here. You shorted it. Boom. Put the stop in. Never broke over the high of the day here, by the way. You could have been in this all day with the stop here. And here's the drop. Uh, do I trade gaps on the on the SPX? No, not really, no. I mean, I like to trade companies. I like to trade stocks that are companies, actually. That's what I like to do. You can use gaps happen in ETFs, so you can. Sure, you can. You can trade gaps in the QQQs, the SPY. You can trade gaps in any ETFs, the, the metals. But I, I typically like companies. That's what I like. Okay. Here's the trade again. Rick's asking about the entry price right here. Boom. So you size yourself according to the stop, and I, I and, and you, that's how you size yourself. Okay, that's how you figure out how many shares, which has to do with the amount of the monetary risk. Now let's look at it and pretend you're a beginner. You just took the class. You're brand brand new. This is you. You're you're trying to figure out how to even do a short, but you do it because you're like I have to do this now. Melissa's calling it right now. Here's the entry price. It's the same for you. You take 400 shares. You're risking 152. This is so, you know, this is decent. Total profit is $451. Again, $400 a day is two grand a week. Two grand a week is $8,000 a month. And $8,000 a month is almost 100 grand a year. Okay? And that's only making $400 a day. But the problem is that many traders are not that specific what they do. So some days they make 400. Some days they lose 400. Some days they make 800. Some days they lose 2,000. You can't be all over the place like that. You can't be all over the place like that. You can't be like a crazy person all over, all over, all over. Here, I'll go back. I looked at two things today. This SSYS I looked at too. I actually kind of like didn't, it actually didn't even set up. I kind of grabbed like a little bit of it there. I like, I looked at this first because I saw the LL was rallying. So I got off of it quickly to the other one. The other one was a second pick. The SSYS set up later. I didn't end up ever going back into it because I had such a great trade in LL. But the SSYS, I just grabbed some of it. It actually didn't even set up. I just took it because I thought it was going to break and I wanted to get it. And then I saw that it wasn't going to break and it didn't set up and I quick killed it. But do you see here, the trade I lost in on the day was $234. And then when I made money, it was $4,500. So you, you, you have to keep your losses down and you maximize the biggies and you don't over trade and you have to know what you're looking for. And I find many, many people will just 
they're just grabbing at straws and they're and they're doing too many different things and then they then they don't see the results okay you can't have a massive day one day and then a huge loss day the next day. You can't have two trades in a day that one's a big loss and one's a big win. You won't even get paid. You, you have to make your effort count. You have to know what you're looking for, and some aren't going to work. Some are just flat out not going to work. And actually, this, this SSYS did work. I just, I t I, I just took it because I thought it was going to hit a certain number, and I just grabbed it very aggressively. But then I quick killed it because it, it never set up. It rallied big, but it did go into work. We can go over that one another time. But the point I'm trying to make, though, is that you can't be all over the place in your P&L, not just on the day, but on the week and on the month. You, you have to be able to pay yourself. When the time comes and the broker calls and says, do you want to check? And if you're at a prop place, you've you got to have the money there. Otherwise, what is it for? What's the purpose? And I'm telling you, there's nothing like paying yourself to get yourself motivated. There's just nothing like it. Otherwise, you can't go from point A to point B. Now, this was the DDD. All right, let me ask a question here. Let me just answer the question. Uh, do you wait for the first 15 minute bar to close? No, I don't do anything with that at all. Uh, so these are just day trades. Yes, I'm going to go over a swing trade here in a little bit, Stephen. Uh, Rick is saying you never paid yourself for trading because you've lost a lot of money in the past. In the past, but what are you doing in the present? What are you doing right now in the present? Forget the past. Amnesia. Amnesia. Total amnesia right now. Go into the closet. Close the door. That's it. Amnesia. Okay? You will never move forward in your trading if you don't forget about the past. How could I ever do a trade like I did today if I thought about my life seven years ago? How, how do I ever get to this point? How would I ever be where I'm at today? How would I ever be in this beautiful, fabulous, gorgeous, amazing penthouse apartment? Because that's where I live. How would I ever, how would I even be here if I didn't have amnesia? I'm living in the now. I'm living in the moment. I'm living right now today. You know what this trade I did? I'm talking about it tonight because I'm doing a webinar. I'm talking about it tonight because I'm doing a webinar. I had a great day. And I'm giving myself kudos here, pat in the back, to hype myself up for tomorrow and psych myself up to have a good day tomorrow. But quite frankly, tomorrow morning I'm out of bed, it's all a brand new story. I don't know what I'm going to get. And you know what? If I don't get anything good, I'm not going to trade. If I get a good one, I'm going to trade. And if I get a good gap that rates per my 26-point system, I'll, I'll trade it. If I don't, then, then that's it. You can't constantly be looking back. Whether the day is good, whether the day is bad, you go to bed at night, you tuck yourself in, you brush your teeth, and you dust your shoes off. You know, when I was losing, okay, and my friends could attest to this, there were days that I would lose and then I couldn't trade the next day unless I refunded the account. I had a retail account, you had to have 25000 minimum in the retail places or you wouldn't have the day trade buying power for the next day. I would race to the bank like a crazy person before 2 o'clock, before the wire cutoff time to to wire money to trade the next day because I didn't want to miss one day. Like I would lose money in the morning, knowing it was under the 25000 race to the bank, wire the money before 2 so I could trade the next day. I never gave up. That's one of the reasons I've made it. But the fact is that I would get up the next day and have amnesia. I, I would get up the right next day and have amnesia. Every day, every day, every day I would do it. Constantly, constantly, constantly until I figured it out. And until I figured it out that this, you have to just move forward. All the losses that you have. I, I, you don't have any idea how many people tell me they take classes and they don't learn anything from them. I, I'm enough, okay? You've got to let the past go. Just because you took classes in the past and they weren't worth the money and you didn't learn anything doesn't mean mine is going to be that way. And if you think that, you're never going to learn from anyone. Then you know what? Go trade the market and teach yourself. It's a long, long road. And you better be rich. In fact, you better be stinking rich because the market's going to burn you if you don't have a lot of money. You'll never make it. Okay? And not only that, you have to have the courage of a warrior, which I happen to have or I wouldn't have made it. But many people don't. So it's a lot easier to learn from someone else. And you might, you might have to take five classes till you find me. You might have to take ten classes till you find me. You, you might have to lose however much money until you just get your head on straight and say, oh, my God, why am I doing this on myself and I should just go learn from Alyssa? You've got to get to the point where you recognize that it's part of the process. It's a journey. You go through the journey. No one wakes up one day and all of a sudden trades the market. I don't care how smart you are. That was the point I was trying to make at the beginning. You've got to understand this is one of these things that many, many people want to do. And the road is different for everyone. 
For some it's short, for some it's long, for some it's small, for some it's big, for some they will never make it. And for some they will never make it because they will quit before they've even given themselves a chance to make it. And they don't have the courage or they will run out of money. You're better off paying for my class so you don't run out of money and you can learn it. Because the market is not a fixed cost. The market will take and 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 will take as much as you have to give. You see the difference? Yes, I do, Lee. Sorry, I just went off there from Rick's talks. I am very consistently profitable, MR, but I don't take a lot of trades a day. One or two at the most. Usually one, maybe two. It is earnings season right now, so you could do as many as you want. If every gap rate's good and you get five gaps, you could do all five. I'm, I'm not going to take five trades in a day, but you could. All right, now I just went off on a tangent, but let's talk about this DDD, and then I'll, I'll go back and answer some of the questions there I missed. So here this DD happened, okay? The stock gap down. Now, this one here in the day ended up being a late short, but it still was a short. The stock opened, it did gap down. It had a big, big rally, though, so the setup in this was late. It did not set up early and aggressively. You could have shorted it the next day aggressively. But the day of the actual gap, you had to be a little bit patient. Here was, here's the 15 minute, someone's asking about that. Here's the 15 minute. It went and had this massive, gymongous move up here in the 15 minute. And if you're trading later, you do need to wait for a higher time frame. Here's the 15 minute right into lunch of the DDD. You could have shorted it right here and it dropped. It never broke the low. You would have just taken this for a move you could have got out here into this reversal time, or you could have tried to hold it to the end of the day. But the bottom line is it never broke the low. You waited, you tried, you, you wanted to get it down, it didn't do it. Guess what? It gapped down the next day. Gapped down the next day, broke the low, and you could have aggressively done it then the following day. But on the day of the gap, you could have taken this as a 15-minute. Okay. So this entry time... Actually, this is wrong time here, I think, too. I didn't have the times right in these. Price is 27.68 for the entry. Stop is 27.85. This is a really good risk. For a 15-minute chart, it was 17 cents. Now, remember, this is a different stock. It's DDD. Price is still very similar. I would say most of the stocks I trade or trade in a range that have really great moves of a dollar or more between $10 and 45 now, there are times I trade expensive things, but it's not that often. And there are times I trade really cheapy, cheapy things, but that's not that often either. I find the range between 10 and 45 is a good range to get stocks to move a dollar or more with a good risk to reward. Now, you could have taken 5,000 shares of this with an $850 risk and made $2,400. This is a late trade, though. You're taking it in the afternoon. I don't suggest doing this unless you're ready up for the morning. So let's say you took a trade in the morning and you made three, four thousand. You could risk a portion of that, five, six, seven, eight hundred, and then you can make more money. So then you have the extra. But if it wouldn't have worked, then you would have slipped up on the day. Risk to reward here though is good. It's almost three again. This isn't crazy. This is totally doable. And this isn't a 15 minute chart. Here's your entry, drop. But this is the gap. It is a gap. This is a gap. This is the gap. This is the strategy. This is the event. This is just the trade. Okay, this, this is the trade inside the strategy, which is the gap. I wouldn't even be doing anything with this thing here at all. I wouldn't even be looking at DDD if it didn't gap. Because it gapped, I can do this thing here. Okay. Now, what if you were a beginner again, DDD? Same concept. You, you only wanted to risk... $85. You took 500 shares. It doesn't matter. The risk reward is still the same. So you make 240 bucks, but you only risk 85. This is great. Okay? So again, $200 a day is still money. That's $1,000 a week. That's $4,000 a month. That is totally doable. It's 50 grand a year. If this is your part-time job, and you're making it in an hour's worth of work, an extra 50 grand a year is a part-time job, First of all, most traders are losing. So if you can make 50 grand a year, their first year as a day trader, and the next year you're probably going to make 100. And the next year you'll probably make 200, and so on and so on and so forth. I mean, first of all, any single person that trades the market should be able to make $200 a day. And if you can't make $200 a day consistently, then, then you, you have no business trading, or you're doing something wrong and you have to stop trading 
live money, take a step back, pull yourself together, and learn something new. Because two hundred dollars today is like I could like make with my eyes closed. Like I could be asleep and press the button and make two hundred dollars. Like it's ridiculous. Okay, and many people can't even do that. Okay, and yet when you think about it, it's a thousand dollars a week. And the other thing I said about keeping in touch with what you want, with where you're at right now and your goals, a lot of people are like, well, I gotta make a thousand dollars a day. I gotta make a thousand dollars a day. I have to make a thousand dollars a day. You know what? Why don't you just try to make two hundred dollars a day first? And then you can try to make a thousand. All right? Prove to yourself and to me that you can make two hundred dollars a day. And then and then we'll get you up to the thousand. And I'm not saying you have to do this for like a year. I'm saying make two hundred dollars a day for two months. And prove you can do it. You've got to take what you have right now and make it. And until you do, it doesn't matter that you want to make $1,000 a day. Let that be your goal after you learn the system, after you learn the trains, after you learn the gaps, after you learn how to get conviction, after you get out of the fear that you might have about risky money or the money that you lost, and you start to have amnesia where you're not constantly living in the past. Because you'll never live in the present moment as long as you're living in the past. And therefore, you cannot move forward in your life. And if you are not willing to move forward in your life, it is going to be very challenging for you to be successful in the market because let me tell you something, the market's alive and it moves very quickly. And I am in touch with that energy in the market and that's the reason I'm able to trade now like I do. I am in touch with that energy. It, it has a speed and a life of its own. And I'm reading it in live time and doing it and I understand how it works. And the energy is the energy of money. It's the energy of billions of dollars that run through the market at milliseconds. It's, a, it's, it's, it's money that runs through the market in a, in a, in a fast faster than the speed of light. And it's a amount of money that is faster than the speed of light. Like you can't even conceive of it. And it's real. That one little girl in her apartment could make that kind of money today in that kind of time. I'm, I was a blip in that stock today. Do you understand? Real institutions sold out of that stock today, big time. And it really didn't even have a massive move in the stock in the chart. It, it, but, but, but it did. Okay. Um, I did not hold the positions overnight, but you could. I do offer a swing trade letter. You have to really pick quality to do overnights. Some gaps I do you could hold overnight. Many actually though, you you know, you'd have to really size your risk differently. In other words, what am I saying? I'm saying you wouldn't take four thousand shares of LL and hold it overnight. But that wouldn't make any sense. You'd take a smaller position size. Uh, do I ever get stopped out and re-enter? Of course sometimes I get stopped out. Sometimes I get stopped out. It's an immediate failure. That's it. I don't retake it. I'm off of it. I said, oh, no, nope, it's not going to work. Went over the number. Done. Out. Sometimes I wait. I let it do what I call correct itself. I let it fix itself. I'm not off of it. I wait. If it fixes itself, I'll retake it. If it doesn't, then I don't. You have to know again what to look for. What is that based on the gap and the numbers in the chart? Unless you sound real and sincere, there's so many BSers out there. I'm so far from a BSer, it's not even funny. I think I have what's called honest dietist or something, somebody told me. <laughs> somebody said something to me the other day, it was so funny. Oh my God, what did they say? Some friend of mine said something about something. I was talking to him about what's happening right now in my career. And he said something about... Uh, <laughs> said, I just remembered, he said, don't let them push you around. And I said, as if that was even possible, that's what I said to my friend. I, I'm very honest, very forthright, and, 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 you know, you have to be tough to trade the market. And, and I am in my business dealings as well. Uh, so you don't look to re-enter on the same day in the same stock. I might, if it still is okay to do and fixes itself. If you shorted DDDD in the morning, you got stopped out. Look what it did. It went poof, like that. But it really was a short. You would have had to wait. You would have to wait and sit and wait and read a book because it took two hours to fix itself. Do you see what I'm saying? So some days I will do that. Some days I will not. If you're not willing to be patient and wait for it to fix itself, then you're off. You're done. Because sometimes it may take like more than five minutes. And that was the case in this DDD. Uh, what about the wash sale rules trading the same stock in the same month? 
That, all of those things you have to talk to your accountant about, OJ, I can refer you to an accountant to talk to them about that. Wash sale rules have to do with accounting terms. That's an accounting question. That's not a trading question. But needless to say, if you are set up as a mark-to-market -market trader for accounting purposes, you don't have to be concerned with that. And anyone that's a professional day trader should be set up that way. And, and, and if you're not, again, email me and I can refer you to an accountant to get set up as a mark-to-market -market trader although it is too late for 2015 or 2014 for your taxes. How do you find the shares that gap? You mean to short? You just look them up on your platform and see if you have them. I check it before the open. If you don't have them, you can request them from your broker. Every broker has a way to do that. If you don't know how to do that, you got to ask the broker. I don't know where you trade. Ask the broker, find out. They'll tell you. Okay. My average profit per day varies, obviously. Does every trade go to three R's? No. Some go to one. Some go to five. Some go to two. You have to have the targets, and then you go with the exit rules, which I teach in the class. But I am looking for real targets. Not every stock goes there. So then you have exit rules where you would look for what I call reversal exit signs that I would take out half the position or more, book it with profit, let the rest try to run to the target, but it may not go. So that has a big deal to do with uh, the amount of the R's that you make, because you might be up a certain amount of money, and it wouldn't make any sense to try to hold it to the target. And I'll be honest with you, actually, the target on whatchamacallit today, and the targets on that is 20, was 26. Dream target in LL today was 26. Low of the day was 26.50. Which would you should you have stayed in that all day to four o'clock to get it down to twenty six? No, that would have been ridiculousness. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, so there's a little bit of the common sense. You have the targets. Do many stocks go to the targets? Yes. Do they all go to the targets? No. Common sense. You your your goal is done for the day when you make three risk units or more, and you may have to go somewhere. You may have to go to the gym. You may have to go to work. You may have to pick up your kids from school. You know, all of these things have to do with your lifestyle as well. And my lifestyle is such that I have a lot going on right now. And the idea of trading at 4 o'clock is not interesting to me whatsoever. And I try to make as much money as I can in the beginning part of the day. I know that 80% of the move happens then. And if I don't get out of the exact low every day, then I, I can live with myself. I can sleep at night. I'm fine. Now, there are days, though, when I'm like 100% conviction, no chance of failure, absolutely in love with the gap, that I will suffer through waiting for it to go to a target and might be in it for more than an hour. But that doesn't happen every day. And I really got to have a lot of conviction that that sucker is going to that number. So, you know what I mean? But some people would never even have the patience for that. But you do have to have some patience. Again, you have to have some patience. Okay? Now, the Netflix swing, this is a swing trade. Somebody asked me about the doing the overnights here. I call Netflix a swing trade back when it gapped up here. You could have bought this gap the day of this gap here, and then it gapped up here in the earnings that it just had in April. And if you did this as a swing trade, you were never down in it. And, it, and, and if you took 100 shares... Look how much money you would have made. It went to the target that I said. It has other targets as well. But it did go to one of the targets. Actually, this date is wrong here too. This date in here was not, this is January. January, actually 21st. The day of the gap over here was uh, April. So the entry date here is wrong, just so you know. It was the gap though that happened at the beginning of the year in January. This was the day of the actual exit to the target of 575. But if you only took 100 shares of that, which actually wasn't that crazy. Now, I know this is expensive, but this wasn't insane. You were never down in it, and you could have made 17 grand. Let's go back and look at this. If you bought this as a swing trader, an overnight trade, if you bought 100 shares of this in January in the day of the gap, this is a swing trade I called in the letter. You would have made $17,000 here getting it to the target. High actually was over 575. So it would have taken you from January to February, February to March, and March to April. It would have taken you three months to make $17,000 with 100 shares of that. How would you ever be able to do that? How would you ever be able to take 100 shares of a stock with a $400 strike price and hold it and stay in it and have the conviction? Because you were up in here. I mean, you might have just scaled out of this thing in here because you were up and you were singing and dancing. But I knew it was going to make a new high. And I called it to make a new high on the day before it even gapped on the earnings. Like on this day here in the room, I said this is going to gap up. And one of the guys did do an option in it based on my call. 
he did an option, not the swing trade. But some people did do the swing trade that I called back there. I don't know where the people got out of it. But you could have made $17,000 on 100 shares in three months. How can you do that? One strategy, it's all the gap. This is a bullish gap. So let's go over this in here. Netflix is a bullish gap. Netflix was a bullish gap here. Closed the night before, gapped up. Gapped up here. If you try to buy it in the day, though, as, a, as an actual long in the day, intraday as a day trader, you lost. You, you lost money. So you might have taken this. It actually never set up. But let's just say you did go long this on the day. You would have taken the one loss, and you would have been out. But it actually was a great long. It just didn't work on the day. Again, sometimes you have to accept the fact that some of them won't work. But this really actually never set up as a long intraday, but it's either here or there. Let's pretend you did buy it and you took the loss in it. If you bought it here as a day trade on this one, you didn't take a loss, you made a lot of money. It actually worked huge as a day trade on this day. So here's where it closed the night before here around 4 something, 80 or something or whatever was the night before. 475 I think it was. And then it gapped up the next morning here. Or actually this was overnight. This happened after hours. It was like around 530. So the stock gapped up $52 overnight. If you had bought that before the gap, you would have made over $5,000 with 100 shares. It happened in five minutes, actually, when the earnings came out. I'm not talking about as an option. I'm talking about buying it outright. You would have had to do that, but you would have made five grand. You could have taken it out in five minutes. If you do the option, you have to wait to the time period that you're in the option and take it out whenever that happens to be, when you did the option for it. So again, it depends what you want to do, whether it's the equity trading or the day trading. The idea, though, the basis, the strategy is the gap itself, and it's so profitable no matter how you trade it. This is the point I'm trying to make, and then I'll answer some of your questions here, is that it doesn't matter how you do it. Whether you do it as a swing trader, a core trader, a day trader, it doesn't really matter. I like the day trading. I like money fast and quick, and that's my personality. But whether you do it as a swing trader, an option, or a core trader, or a day trade, the money is there. It's real. Why? The gap but not in every gap. You can't do every single gap. You can't buy every gap up. You can't short every gap down. You can't fade every gap. You can't short every gap up. You can't buy every gap down. You have to have a method, something you're looking for, something in what? In the price. And you're looking in the price of the chart. And that's how you know. And I developed a rating system to figure that out. And that's how I'm doing these trades. That's how I'm so consistent because I'm looking for that niche, that one set of criteria. That criteria tells me this is a good one, Melissa. Do it. Does that mean I never take a loss? No. Sometimes I do. But I win far more than I ever take a loss. And then the days that I win, I win big as well. And then I have some medium win days in there. But I don't lose that much. And then you see how it tallies itself up. How do you know whether to buy the gap or short the gap? I have a rating system that I teach to do it. And I'm going to talk about that in a minute here. That's how I know. Uh, so when you went to your website, the course is expensive. It's $3,500. You can make that back trading. So it's not expensive. And to be honest with you, if you don't have $3,500 for the class, I think you need to not trade. I mean, you want me to be honest with you? Here's the honest If you don't have an extra $3,500 for my class, you have no business trading the market. I've got to be honest with you. That's it. You've got to have money to trade, and you've got to have money to learn what to do. And if you only have $3,500 and you throw it in the market, you're going to lose every dime. You have to have money to trade. You have to have money for my class. My class is not expensive. Some classes are out there for $10, 20 grand, $7,500. In two days, you learn how to make money in the market. And once you have that information, you have it for the rest of your life. So is it worth it? Absolutely. It's on the cheap side, actually, because what I teach you is real, and it teaches you how to make money, not just $3,500, but money for the rest of your life. So therefore, it is like cheap, okay? And I named it the Golden Gap because it's like finding gold in the market when you find one. And you can make it back in one trade, okay? But if you feel that you don't have that much money, then I'm telling you to take a step back. And I'm telling you that for your own good. You know, I care about people. I, I run a business and, I, and, and it's successful. But I don't want people doing crazy, nutsy stuff. You have to grab hold of what you have and figure it out. Figure out what you can do. You can put the class on a charge card. You can take your cash to open up an account. You risk what you can afford. You sit down and figure out your finances. How are you going to make it work? But don't go into this thing here with a lack of commitment mentally or thinking that you're going to run out tomorrow and make a million dollars. Could you over the course of your life, though? Yes. Yes, you could. Okay. 
Could you make $100,000 a year doing this? Yes, you could. Could it happen in the first year? Yeah, yes, it could. Is it going to happen in the first week? Not unless you're risking a certain amount, which is more than small. Okay. So the market will pay you if you know what to do. It absolutely will. I love this quote out of this movie, Wall Street. The most valuable commodity I know of is information. It's a quote from Gordon Gecko, and it's so, so true. And getting back to the price of the class, it's the value and the information that I teach. To me, it's invaluable. Someday I won't teach the class anymore. I just won't. Okay. It's, it's, it's very valuable. I take pride in what I teach. I take pride in what I know. I take pride in what I do. I, I, I take pride in this webinar here tonight that I'm talking so honestly and fluidly with you people to try to teach you something here above and beyond the strategy itself, but just some common sense about money and risk and how your mind has to work. Your mind controls your thoughts and you have to have power over that when you trade. Okay, the power of information is real, so you can grab it. I'm teaching it, but if you're not willing to do that, then there's a lack of commitment, and that's where you got to say, then why am I trading at all? And re reevaluate. Okay, the class I teach is called the Golden Gap Course. It is a 26-point rating system to find the best gap to trade each day. The course also teaches you how to play the stock on the day, which is the entries, which we talked about. The course teaches you chart analysis and technical analysis on a very advanced level. So the 26-point rating system is how I am finding the gaps, whether to buy them or short them. And the class gives you conviction. It gives you conviction to take the risk because it's detailed and it's precise and it's complete. And the class is advanced. That's why it's $3,500 as well. This conviction will help you to take size in your trades, which will allow you to make more money. Because I, I, you just can't take size in trades. You can't take 4,000 shares of something that's a day trade unless you have conviction. It would, I don't care how much money you have. That would be just silly. You've got to know what you're doing. Once you learn the strategy, you will realize that the U.S. stock market can pay you on a regular basis. And I'm not talking about once every couple of months. I'm talking about consistently throughout the week, throughout the months. And the key is learning what to look for and then sticking with one strategy because one good strategy is all you need. And this is the big, big point I want to make in this webinar tonight. GAPS is a strategy I focus on. It's the only one that you need. The reason is because no matter what type of trader you are, there's a lot of momentum that happens when stocks gap. If it's a good one, and what do I qualify as a good one? Any gap that rates 20 points or more per my 26-point rating system. You don't need to have 26 to 26. It's not about getting a perfect score, but if you rate the gap and you tally it up and then everything totals over 20, you can do it. What if you get three? One's 24, one's 20, one's 21. You're going to do the one that's 24 first. You risk more with the one that's 24. And you rate them in order. You say, this is pick one, two, and three. Uh, MR has a question here. Let me just look. And then Rick has a question here. Hold on. Uh, you do like my method. Besides the $3,500, are there any other fees? Are there monthly trader room fees? There is a, I run a live trading room. I'm offering a special, if you do the class, you get one month free if you do this class in May, which I'm going to go over in a minute here. Other than that, if you want to sign up for the live trading room, it's $250 a month after the one month free. If you sign up for the year, there's a 25% discount. I do not allow people to sign up for the room without taking the class. That was a great decision on my part to help mold people as traders. So you can't take the class, uh, you can't do, be in the room without taking the class. I don't want people risking their live money every day with me unless they know what they're doing. And the only way you'll know what you're doing is if you take the class. And even if you've traded for 30 years or 50 years or older than I'm alive, you don't know what I do. And because it happens very quickly, you have got to learn it. And I want you to do well, so I make everyone take the class that is in the room with me. But I do give trials. If you want a one-week trial in the room, you can email me. I'll give you a one-week trial. I've had people make the money for the class and the trial. Now, I'm not saying you should do that. You should take the trial and watch, okay? But you could get umpteen gaps in a week's time to make the money for the class in a trial. But, you know, you're supposed to be watching and observing to see if you want to do it. But I do give people trials. But in order to sign up for the room full-time, you have to take the class. So it is a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. And I allow free retakes. The class is online. You don't have to fly to New York. It's online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. 
And if you take it one time, you can retake it for free. If you miss something or forget something and you want to retake it, you can always do that. So why take the class? To learn a strategy that you can use to make money in the U.S. stock market. Simple. And to learn a strategy that offers momentum moves in stocks each day. To learn how to trade gaps, because many people out there have no clue how to trade them and are teaching people the wrong way to trade them, which is why people don't tend not to do well in gaps and then get confused, okay? And to learn a strategy that's profitable in multiple time frames. To learn how to read stock charts and price patterns. To learn how to pick which symbol to trade on the day, like to know to do LL or win. And to learn how to enter the stock and determine the targets. And this is very important. A lot of people have no idea how to figure out targets as well. So I use a 26-point checklist. I just go through in the morning, I check it, and I just tally them up. And then I total, and it has to be 20 or more of the 26. That's what I'm looking for. So the Golden Gap course teaches technical analysis on a very advanced level. This is the name of the class I teach. The class teaches how to comprehend, calculate, and determine the price action to follow the large institutional money that is trading in stocks in the market. The 26-point rating system in the Golden Gap course can be used to rate stocks to play intraday, However, the 26-point rating system can be used to choose a stock to take as a swing or core trade, like Netflix. And by the way, LL is lower too, because it didn't get to 26 today and it will. The system is designed to follow the event. This event in a chart happens in a gap. Large institutional money is the power in the market that creates gaps. Trading on the side of big money is how to make a lot of money trading. And the Golden Gap course is a serious study of stock charts. So even if you've been trading uh, technical analysis for years, you're going to learn even more about it. It's just pure, pure price that I'm focusing on. And the class is an education of how to determine the direction a stock app will make in the day and how to trade it properly. Again, the entries, like we talked about with the LL. Some people tried to buy that. It was a short. The class also educates traders on how to read resistance and support on an advanced level. Now, let's talk briefly here about the market. This is a chart of the QQQs. This isn't, this isn't from the close, but I'm not sure exactly where we close tonight. But you've got to learn how to read support and resistance in, in stocks and also the market. And this is the overall market. I do look at the general QQQs and SPY each day when I'm reading it, and they gap many day. The Qs and the SPY gap almost every day. And that's unusual, but it's the market. It's the overall market. Stocks don't tend to gap every day. Okay, you're looking for different, I trade a different uh, one every day, a different symbol every day. But you could trade the market every day. And people have asked me this about futures in reference to using my system in reference to futures or even options for the market. But it's very important to learn how to read support and resistance. And I have found, just from teaching people, I didn't know this was such a big problem, but many people don't read support and resistance even right. Okay? You will learn this in the class, too. This is nothing to do with the points, but this is above and beyond something that I teach in the class, like as an overlap of things that just help you become more proficient in chart reading. Uh, you went to camp for three days called the Enlightened Warrior Camp. It seems like you may have attended that camp. I've never heard of it, but it sounds like a great name. After the camp, most of the fears go away. One event was to walk 30 feet on har charcoal. Oh, that sounds interesting. Rick, I can look at ACAM when we're done. Uh, let me just see here the other questions. I think that's everything. Do you use overall market direction enter trades or are all of your entries secular? Secular, but I do look at the market. And I gotta tell you, the market, the market is hard to read. If I I every day I get up and I look at the market gap, and then I that's how I figure out what the market's gonna do. And I look at the overall bias, what I think the market's gonna do in the day. But I am looking what I think it's gonna do in the morning in reference to how I'm getting in my gap too. The gap is secular. The gaps work on their own regardless of the market. In other words, the market's been rallying and bullish for umpteen years now, and I short. I prefer to short. And I'm making money to the short side in a very bullish market, which in and of itself is spectacular. But I will tell you that when the market's ready to turn, I'll be in a great position because I do know how to short. And a lot of traders don't short well, okay? Although they love to buy, they have problems shorting mentally, shorting rallies, shorting in the wind which I don't have a problem doing. The market isn't going to turn, though, right now. <laughs> the market is going to continue higher this year and continue making new highs. But I trade my gaps based on the rating system secular. I still look at the market anyways because I need to be informed of what's happening. There are economic data reports that happen in the live intraday that can affect the market and could affect something that I'm in. So you have to be aware of that. 
Does it have anything to do with the point system? No, but am I in awareness of what the market's doing? And I, do I look in the morning? Yes. So that's the combined rationale for that. So the goal is, number one, trade golden gaps. Trade only golden gaps so you have a high rate of success or directional bias. Number two, get the best entry you can with precision so you can take size with it properly to earn more money. Number three, manage it correctly by taking some off into dips, doing ads, and doing your best to hold to a bigger target with a portion of your position. And that's the best thing that you can do. When you find something that's working, you're up a lot, manage it, get out of half of the drop, hold the rest. You've got to know where the target is. But if you're up so much that you have to take it, take it. You could retake the second trade. You could have retaken LL today. It's about seeing how one great trading system is really the key for your future. And it's focusing on the detail and the precision. If you're focused on one strategy, will be more detailed in what you do. And you will train with precision. This focus will translate into successful results. Successful results grow on top of each other. Your confidence grows with results. Your conviction grows with results. You make more money then with results. It's like, a, it's like just the same thing when you're having a good day or having a bad day. When things are going great, they are, they're going great. It's just like when you're having a bad day, all of a sudden everything's out of control. You've got to get things in the right path where they're going great. Okay? Doesn't mean you don't have a bump in the road, but when you do, you just you just plow right through it. Okay? Focusing on one quality strategy in play will make an important impact on your trading. It really takes focus on one thing to win. The Kentucky Derby is this weekend. I love the Kentucky Derby. It's Saturday. Okay? It's such a short race. You think that those riders aren't focused to win all that money in that quick of time? They are. It's actually, it's like, I love the Kentucky Derby and, and I like horse racing in general, but I love the Derby. And you know what? It's just like me. Like, I'm trying to make XYZ amount of money in this many quickly seconds or minutes. Like, that's me. I'm like, hunt, focus, win, go, get it, out. And then you have it. There, these horse riders are focused. The horses are focused. One successful strategy is all you need to trade. Learn one solid strategy, one play. You've got to learn advanced technical analysis because even if you know the other stuff about fundamentals, if you're off on the technicals, you'll lose. So you've got to lean with the technicals, okay? And learn how to get conviction in the market as a source of wealth because it is. And that's what I wanted to show you today, okay? It is a source of, source of endless abundance and wealth if you know how to take advantage of it. So educate yourself to become a master trader. It's just the one strategy that's it, okay? You can go long in it, you can go short in it, it's one. One strategy, one focus to reach the top. So don't give up on having the financial success you want in life because trading is it. It can be the path for you and it doesn't take an umpteen hours a day. You do have to be committed, you have to do, have to do the class, you do have to be there every day to look for the gaps and rate them and take the trades. But don't go nuts giving up or go off the deep end thinking that all this time and energy put into the market for years is, was a waste. Maybe your path was to go along for years and years and years and all of a sudden you find someone like me. No one can know, okay? I'm single, I'm not married, I have no children. Someday I will get married and someday I will have a family. Did I think that at this point in my life that I would be this successful and single? No. If someone would have said to me five years ago that I'd be single at this point in my life, I would have said, you're crazy. If someone said that to me 10 years ago, I would have said, you're crazy. And now things are happening in my life with my business and my success that if I had married someone 10 years ago, I, I, I'm going to meet, I'm right now, right now I am meeting amazing people in the greatest city in the world in Manhattan. And that I, and with my success and the people that I'm meeting every day that I would never have met if I hadn't gotten here. And if I married someone 10 years ago, I probably wouldn't be here. So you just never know. It all comes full circle. I'm going to meet some amazing man this year that I would never have met. And maybe I already met him. You, you just never know. You never know how life comes around. You have to go with it. It doesn't matter if it's love. It doesn't matter if it's success. It doesn't matter if it's money. It doesn't matter if it's training. It doesn't matter if the market. If you lose hope and you give up and you don't want to push through it, you'll never know how great you could be. You got to have amnesia. You got to go to the next level. So simplify your trading life so you can enjoy your real life. Okay? Because I don't work on teen hours a day. I don't ever want to do that again, actually. The best job is one where you are your own boss. Okay? You can go away in the afternoons, go golfing, go on vacation. So make more money than you've ever dreamed of in the U.S. stock market. The United States stock market is here. It's waiting for you. And the golden gap is the path to your financial success. Now, here's the class dates. It's, the bearish class is May 16th and 17th. 
It's from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. The cost of the class is $34.99. You can email me if you want to sign up. I am teaching a bullish class, okay? The dates of the bullish class are the 18th, 19th, and 20th from 12 to 4. I'm spreading down the week. So this is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Cost is the same. This is a different course. It's for the bullish class. You can do the bullish one or the bearish one. Now, I'm offering a Kentucky Derby special because I love the Derby. It's through Saturday because that's the Derby. I'm giving the Wealth Manifestation class for free with the class in May, whether you do the bullish one or the bearish one. This is all about trading psychology. It talks about the mind, money, and how it works in relationship to being successful. Okay? And I'm also offering, like I said, uh, one month free in the live trading room. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. I put one money. There is a Freudian slip. <laughs> I wrote this today after I after I was done out of my trade. I was like money, money, money after I got out of that LL. Look at that. What a Freudian slip there. I, anyways, I'm doing very well. Uh, <laughs> I'll have to look at the A cam tonight. Who knows? Maybe that'll be my pick tonight for the money or tomorrow. You save $649 if you do the early sign up for the Derby special. Because you'll get the wealth class free in one month in the room. And you get the whole month of May in the room where you can be in the room when it's earnings season. And there's a million things to do. So you should be able to more than follow me and take all of my trades. If you're in the room, you do exactly what I say. Take it here, put the stop, and get out. I'm calling it live, okay? The idea of being in the room is that you're going to do exactly the trades that I do. Now, could you do other trades if you want? Sure. Yes, you can. You can do five things of the day if they all rate well. But if you're in the room and you're new, my suggestion is do exactly what I say. So I do offer a class. Um, uh, it's a trading room. It's open Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But you have to take the class actually to be in the room. I will offer a trial if you're interested for the week. Trading can make all of your dreams come true, even the big ones. So thank you for coming. Now, does anyone else have any questions? Let me look. Yes, most of my trades happen between 9.30 and 10. I don't take anything usually after 10. That doesn't mean I never do an afternoon trade, but it's not every day. It's unusual. I'm usually done and out of my trades by 10, 10, 15, 10, 30, Eastern Time, 11 o'clock the latest. Room is closes at 11. He's probably on the web case right now, Scott said. Are you talking about the man of my dreams? <laughs> that was funny. Do I need any particular person or broker? You could use whoever you want. Uh, if you want a referral, I'll send you one. If you want to set up your charts just like mine, I'll send you the charts. You set them up just like mine. I have just very, very clean charts. The white background. Uh, so I can refer you for charting packages to try like a demo or a broker if you want. You can day trade at a retail place or a prop place. And that depends a lot on how much money you want to put up. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn the tape off here and quickly look at ACAM for, for Rick. Scott is saying he's willing to be a cut man. Now that's a funny one. <laughs>